Hello and welcome back to our continued journey of exploration of numbers and their properties. And in this session and in this video, we'll try and focus on the division process. And our agenda would be to find the remainder for such questions. So the question would be 9 raised to 81 divided by 5 or any such question. And the question's focus is on the remainder. So we will do these questions, but obviously we'll first of all start off with the division process, what we mean by division, what is the process that we have been using since school, and then we'll slowly try and build and come to this idea, right? So let's get started with the very basic idea of division. And let's start with an easy enough example just to understand the division process. So I say 17 divided by 5 and tell me what is the remainder. So all of us know and we most of us should be doing it like, like this. 5 3s are 15. They might be writing it here. 5 3s are 15 and I, then I get 2. I can't divide any further. So just take a snapshot of this number and or you could have taken any, num any uh, set of numbers to try and understand the process. So what are the numbers involved here? First of all, 17 and 5. 17 is known as the dividend the number which is being divided. Now we'll not use this term later too much but this is just to build the connection between all the terms. So let's name it and this term we'll call the dividend. This number which is doing the dividing, when you write 17 divided by 5 you will write it something like this in the fraction form. That means the number in the denominator you will call it the divisor. We already know remainder is what we are looking for, right? So this term 5 is my divisor. This is my dividend. So what would be this? This is the quotient. Now these terms, this for example, this term itself might become confusing, but very simply focus all your attention on the number 17 and it being divided by 5. What do I see because of this snapshot? I see that 17 can be written as 5 into 3 plus 2. And that is the fundamental relationship between all of these components and parts of the division process. What is this 17? 17 was our dividend. 5 was our divisor. 3 was our quotient and 2 was our remainder. So my snapshot understanding of the division process would be that the dividend is equal to divisor into the quotient plus remainder. right? So all of us know this, we are just slowing down and trying to build the connection between all the terms. So divisor into the quotient plus the remainder gives you the original number which you are calling the dividend. Five minutes later, we'll forget all of these terms and straight away just start writing this. But this is the fundamental process involved. When we are doing this division process, this is what we are trying to do. We are trying to take the dividend, look at it, look at it as a multiple of the divisor because 5 into 3, 15 is a multiple of 5. 5 is the divisor. Look at this as a multiple of 5 plus something. So that would be another way of interpreting it. So this is where we are starting off with and if we have clarity in this, all the questions and the logic that follow are going to be built on this structure and it's going to be very very easy if we understand this example because in this example is going to be barely any difficulty level higher. So let's go step by step and try and interpret this more. So that is one interpretation that dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. But even right now, this is a very mechanical seeming process to us. So let's try and interpret the division process in a more uh, visual manner. So let's take 17 toffees. So there are 17 toffees and I tell you that you can, uh, you want to put them into packets and a packet has 5 toffees. So I say 5 toffees per packet and the question is how many packets can you form? 
सो स्टार्ट काउंटिंग आई कैन सी देर आर सेवेंटीन मार्बल्स टेक फाइव पुट देम इन अ पैकेट यू गेट पैकेट वन टेक दी अदर फाइव एंड पुट देम इन दी अदर पैकेट यू गेट पैकेट टू अगेन टेक फाइव एंड पुट देम इन दी थर्ड पैकेट यू गेट पैकेट थ्री आफ्टर दैट कैन यू फॉर्म अ पैकेट नो यू कैन नॉट फॉर्म अ पैकेट सो इन दिस सिचुएशन इन सेवेंटीन टॉफीज Five toffees per packet. You can form three packets, and you are left with two toffees, which you will throw away. So once again, in this story, this five toffees per packet is our divisor. The number of packets is our quotient, and the leftover is the remainder, as suggested in the term remaining. So once you or uh, and you can look at the division process as successive subtraction so you're taking 5 and removing it taking 5 and removing it taking 5 and removing removing it and the question is how many times can you do it there are various language ways of interpreting this you can think of how many packets can be formed or you can think of if you start subtracting 5 how many times will you do it in this case you will be able to do it 3 times after that you, you don't have 5 marbles or 5 toffees to remove right so that would be the visual interpretation of it another way of thinking of the same story could be that there are five children there are a b c d e you want to give them uh, you want to divide these toffees between them equally right that would be the uh, verbal interpretation of this so how would you go about it you would say okay let me start just giving so you'll say one 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 round will be over right each will get one toffee and you will say okay one round over so these five will be gone and one round everybody would have one toffee per person then you will say okay again these five will again go and everybody would have two toffees per person again these five will go and you will say one 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 person and eventually everybody would have Three toffees per person. Now what happens? There are still two toffees left. This is the problem. If you give it to someone, someone else will be very very unhappy, right? So it's better to just throw them away. So and what you have to notice it. If you remove the remainder, the rest of it is a multiple of the divisor, right? In this case, our divisor was five. How many people are there? This should be divided into five people. so you were once again going for okay each round will require five toffees and in this case the toffee per person that is you are getting is your portion right so this is just to understand the physic uh, the uh, division process physically that what is happening so that we understand another way of dealing with this toffee distribution problem was there are two toffees if you try and give it to these people there will be a problem because somebody will be unhappy so either you can throw them away or you can add three more toffees now mathematically this two which you were throwing away which you remove and you get a multiple of 5 you were calling remainder and this remainder was equal to 2 so the part that you remove and throw away is 2 i am saying put three more toffee and you can have the same thing you will have four toffees per person now but your problem will be solved by putting in three toffees so if removing these two toffees was a remainder of two putting in these three toffees can it be considered a remainder of minus 3 so that is the point of trying to visualizing the uh, division process so that later once we start talking about a negative remainder we can understand what we mean remove 2 you get to a multiple of 5 because you had 17 you remove 2 you get 15 which is 5 into 3 or put 3 right once again you get to a multiple of 5 which is 20 now so and the difference would be in this situation you had 3 toffees per person that means that was your question number of toffees per people and this remaining two was your remainder now if you're calling this positive two you can think of adding three toffees as minus three so that would be trying to understand the division process visually and the fundamental of division is successive subtraction so let's stick to our example and change the number of toffees to 18 so what will happen now 
should be fairly easy you will form one packet another packet another packet and this time you will be left with three toffees so you can say the remainder is three or once again if you want to visualize if you add two more toffees you will get to the next multiple of five which is 20 so you can also say the remainder is minus two why minus two because when you were removing the toffees you were calling it positive three so the opposite of that is trying to add the toffees and therefore the minus two right so if i go for 18 my remainder would be three let's go for 19 that means one more toffee here once again one packet two packet three packet and you will be left with four toffees now so your remainder would be four or you can say a remainder of minus one remove these four toffees and you will have a multiple of five which is 15 or add that one extra toffee and you will reach 20 which is a multiple of five i go to 20 and i see there are 20 toffees one packet two packet third packet and a full four packet remainder would be zero zero no problem there i go for 21 toffees I can see I have four packets, this one toffee will be left out, so my remainder would be one, right? I'm thinking of 21 divided by five. When my remainder is one, I if I add four more toffees, I will reach 25, which is the next multiple of five. So I can also say the remainder is minus four. That means my number is four short of a multiple of five. This remainder of one, this remainder of one meant my number is 1 ahead of a multiple of 5. 21 is 20 plus 1 ahead of 20. 4 minus 4 meant 5 behind a multiple of... Uh, 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 4 behind a multiple of 5, which is 25 in this case. Let me again go for 22. 22 toffees and my remainder once again easily enough would be 2. Now we started our story from 17 divided by 5. There again the remainder was 2, right? And if I now go for 23 toffees, I know the remainder would be 3. At 24 toffees, the remainder would be 4. At 25 toffees, once again, the remainder would be 0. So I can see, if I go for this visual interpretation very clearly, that once I am dividing by 5, my possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it should be clear why. A remainder of 0 means we are landing at a multiple of 5. Right? And if we are any number that we'll think of in terms of 5, either it will be a multiple of 5 or it will be 1 ahead or 2 ahead or 3 ahead or 4 ahead. Once it once again reaches 5 ahead, it will again become a multiple of 5. So the idea of cyclicality once again will kick in here. So I know that once I'm dividing by 5, my remainder can be from 0 up to 4 or I can think of the remainder as 5 also, but the remainder of 5 means the same thing as a remainder of zero because i'll hit the next cycle right so a couple of ideas one that remainder is pretty limited in terms of and it repeats over and over again and secondly the idea of positive remainders means you're how much ahead of a multiple of five you are and a negative remain remainder means how behind are you of the next multiple right so hope these ideas are reasonably clear